They're shipping out to Afghanistan. We wish them well and thank them for their service. The largest bridal store in the United States is not in New York City. It's not in Los Angeles. It's in Redding, Ohio. Bridal and Formal offers women a selection of more than 4,000 wedding gowns all under one roof. Local 12's Tiffany Wilson shows us why Redding's bridal district is so Cincinnati. First the ring, then the matrimonial three-ring circus. And oftentimes when brides start thinking about the big day, they head to Bridal Informal first. We are not a stuffy salon. We want to be part of your family when you pick your dress. The salon started as a mom and pop shop 40 years ago. It continues to be family owned, but no one can call the sprawling store small. These racks hold more dresses than any other bridal store in America, about 4,000 in all. And they've got something for brides of every shape, size, and budget. Is that we carry every major designer. So anytime you flip open a magazine, Vera Wang, Maury Lee, Maggie Sutera, we carry all of the branded designers. That's so important because typically designers sign with one store per region. Since Monique Louye is here, you won't find her dresses anywhere within 300 miles. As in almost any other city, you will have to go from store to store to store. Brides from around the world come to Cincinnati just to shop at Bridal Informal. Good morning, Bridal Informals. We've had brides fly in from England, um, Middle East. We've had brides come in from Mexico, Canada. Even though I've already been a bride, and yes, I did get my dress here, I figured I'd put Tina Minshall to the test. Okay, Tina, I got married about 15 months ago, but you know, I still want that bridal experience. Maybe one more time. Okay. If you had to pick out a dress for me, what would you get? I got it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> All right, how do I look? Tina is so good. Now I'm rethinking the original wedding dress I wore. Honey, I think we might need to renew our vows. Clearly, I'm not the only one who's found the one at Bridal Informal. Bride Karen Zeff had double success. Yes, this is the dress I got for my bridesmaids for April. It's a nice spring look. With a steady bevy of brides streaming down Benson Street, two dozen other wedding related businesses have opened. We we're really a one-stop shop for all their wedding needs. From invites to advice, Stacy Shuring offers the newly engaged a helping hand. She now plans to expand. A block away, Patricia Lang credits Bridal Informal with some of her custom cake success. I definitely think it's been a plus. You know, sometimes on Saturday you can't get walk through the showroom. It's so busy with people. Bridal Informal says they love supporting small businesses and they love being in the business of love. It's one of the most emotional purchases you'll ever make, so we try to make it easy and fun. An attitude that is so.